Hey everyone, Raj Sahu here, Realtor in Austin, Texas, with another model home walkthrough. Today we're going through the Taylor floor plan with GFO Homes. I love this floor plan because even though it's a one story plan, it opens up really well with tall ceilings, a good layout, and I think you'll see that here. It is a plan that has over 2,200 square feet. It's a four bedroom with a study and has three full bathrooms. So as we walk in here through the front door, you'll see that we have two bedrooms on the right side split by a full bathroom. It does have this circular ceiling. They, they're calling it a rotunda, which I think it's a good touch when you walk in to put a nice light fixture in there. Uh, first, we're gonna walk through these spare bedrooms at the front of the house. And then I think you'll see when we go out to the main living area, how well it opens up. And I do wanna continue to look up at the ceiling so you can see some of the uh, pitch ceilings that they have, which I think makes a big difference. Uh, when you walk into these homes, especially again on one story plans. So many people want that open concept feeling and those pitch ceilings do make a difference. Here we have the full bathroom that does split the two spare bedrooms here. Uh, as with any model home walkthrough, there are certain up upgrades here that are gonna be, I would say over upgraded compared to what average homeowners do. Uh, for example, you see the paint uh, is a touch of blue in the back uh, on this bedroom and the light fixture. These are things that usually you won't see in most inventory homes. But if you're ever trying to cover the differences between what you see in the model as well as what you're getting, always reach out to somebody like myself, a buyer agent. We can walk through that with the builder agent and, and have a meeting about that if you are very interested in a plan like this. So we have two bedrooms on one side. And then we have another bedroom on the opposite side. Uh, before we walk that, this is where your garage access would be. And then here we have a laundry area. And why I like this uh, privacy for the um, third spare bedroom here that's on the opposite side, uh, perfect if you have a guest uh, who maybe is elderly and wants an in-suite bathroom then this is a great option to have. And uh, you'll see me pointing up to the ceiling, as I stated before, quite a bit because I love how open it is. Uh, but there we have the closet. And then on the right side, we have the in-suite bathroom. So again, much more private. What I find with other one-story plans is they might have this as a structural upgrade option. So that's why their base prices are a little bit lower. Uh, with GFO, I like how they just include it. Um, I, I often find that in-suite bathroom is an upgrade that most people will do with other builders. And instead of you know coming in with a low base price, it's just nice that it's included where they're not trying to get you in at a low price. And then all of a sudden you have all these add-ons, which does happen from time to time. Here we have a look at the common area. It opens up so well. Again, love the high ceilings, love the layout. The sliding glass doors are a great touch. I am finding because of the popularity of those sliding glass doors, uh, they are putting them on uh, quite a bit of their inventory homes that they are building. Uh, before I get into inventory homes, just a quick look at the study that does have uh, French doors here that opens up into this study. If you are working from home, this is a great option to have. Uh, where you have the study that's just off of the common area and uh, it's staged for that. So here's a look at the French doors. So what I was saying with the inventory homes, an inventory home usually means that it's already being built by the builder, but there's no buyer on that home yet. When they do get that home to a certain stage of construction, then they put it up for sale and uh, being that it's an inventory home, that usually means that everything's already pre-designed. So obviously structural upgrades were already chosen. They might have some options you can change around with design, they might not. It just depends on the stage of new construction. And then they put up that home for sale. So if you don't really value the design side or you don't wanna take up time to do that, you just want a professional uh, with GFO to do the design and it's already set, 
and you like that design, um, then sure, you know, I would say that it's a great option uh, where, you know, instead of bidding or uh, coming in here and, you know, going through the whole design process from scratch, it, it could be a great option. Um, it just depends on what you want in the home. And as you can see here, the floor plan is what you'll get uh, almost every single time. There might be some structural upgrade differences in the inventory homes, but usually what you're seeing here from a floor plan uh, standpoint in terms of how it's laid out, this is what you'll be getting. Again, this is all something that we can verify with the builder. And I think that kitchen with the breakfast nook area and how much it opens up in the living, living room it is so well done by GFO. As we always say with most of these model home walkthroughs, do not use this backyard as an indicator of what you'll be getting in an inventory home. Oftentimes it might be a little bit deeper on a model home or they don't have the uh, fence on the, on the right side that you saw there just because they have another model home next to this one so they just keep it open. Uh, this is something that we can always look into with the builder. Um, and <laughs> here's a good look at that sliding door. I wanna make sure you understand that it uh, how um, it does go all the way back. Um, I, I believe this was a three-piece uh, sliding door. So uh, this is, again, something that we can verify that it's in the inventory home, that it's something that can slide all the way. Uh, when you, we have parties or people over, I think it's really nice to just open up this space and keep those doors open, uh, pending that it's not too hot in the you know dog days of summer, as we say. So you know, it's something that we can uh, again always verify that an inventory home has that if that's something that you value. But really good size kitchen island. You saw four stools there. And uh, always look at the furniture when we look at these model homes. Uh, it really gives us an indicator of the space. Heading into the owner's bedroom, really good touches here. I love the transom windows on the wall. Uh, by the way, if you are concerned about privacy in your bedroom with those transom windows that usually don't have blinds or curtains on them, uh, you can search for window privacy film on Amazon, it's usually very inexpensive and very easy to apply on the windows. My wife and I do have trains of windows above our bed and it was so easy to just uh, uh, put on some window privacy film that we ordered on Amazon. So uh, again, really good touches, opens up well with these double doors into the owner's bathroom. Uh, GFO loves putting that uh, tub in between the um, vanities and I think that's a, a really nice touch, uh, both aesthetically and if you value the tub, um, it's obviously usable too. So uh, really tall walk-in shower. The uh, tiles to the ceiling are a great touch. If you are designing uh, this in a, in a studio uh, with GFO or any other builder, I think going to the ceiling is a great touch. Anytime you can take your eyes up and you have tall ceilings, that combination is usually going to uh, be a, a really good for resale. So, um, as we always say when we're designing, having uh, putting in money into the kitchen as well as owner's bathroom uh, seem to generate the best return. Here's a look at the owner's closet. And again, going to the ceiling, I don't think I did a really good job of going all the way up, uh, but it does open up really well here in the owner's closet. Here we go. Very tall ceilings, a lot of space here. And for this type of square footage, usually you do not get this large of a closet with this tall of ceilings. But as we mentioned before, GFO, I would say is uh, goes a little bit more higher end than some of the builders who are maybe more higher volume. So the cost with those higher volume builders might be a little bit less, but you don't get these fantastic upgrades that GFO. So that's it for the Taylor Ford plan with GFO Homes. If you value this type of content, feel free to like the video, feel free to subscribe to the channel, and of course, comment below on what you like or don't like about this floor plan. I always enjoy reading through those comments. And of course, if you are looking at real estate in Austin, Texas, or outside of Austin, feel free to reach out to me. I am a realtor. I love working with people trying to navigate through this market. And outside of Austin, I can connect you with a great agent. Take care, everyone.